the conversation that they did on the TV station was in three language. So I might play it, but you wouldn't understand it. So I'll just play a portion of it, which has some English bits in there. Then I'll narrate the whole story and tell you what really happened. So let's watch this video. Video credit goes to UTV United Show Business. Hey, your friend is saying budget. Put this can there, baby, shoot too. I would be to your crop for Simple. So go and deposit it. We oh. give you an account number. You deposit it. Make sure, say, yeah, we are. Say, who needs it? Can it be audit to your extra? What do you do? You come for the money and make sure, say, you pay everybody. No, we no, no, no. Simple. Your crop for never hand say. Go and misrepresent this issue supporting the Nigerians who send wrong signals from here to Nigeria say hey you see me shoot to a Ghana be more and the Ghana for now stop we I mean we give them the record say oh most of the people here who are coming here are even peers okay i would cut it short because i know that a lot of the viewers watching it do not understand the local language tree language and that was done on a, a local station tree language is their key language so i would explain it to you so the man speaking is the pr of five pack and then years back 10 years 11 years ago 13 years ago when ghana and nigeria started producing movies together they had that marriage that's marriage that you would have uh, the jim uh, jim ike and the rams you know what coming to ghana to shoot with jackie apia and yvonne nelson and all that it was getting so like it was going on so well that both of us were enjoying you know movies so these producers in ghana that were not matching up to competition i would say they were somehow out outmoded started getting jealous yes i'll be very very plain with my ways and some of them were the heads of these film producers and all that they started telling us a story that the hotels in ghana the restaurants in ghana and the taxi drivers in ghana are complaining that when film producers move all the way from nigeria and come to shoot in ghana they can tell you that oh we want to shoot for 15 days they book into a hotel and on the 10th day they will be done with the shoot and they will flip up they'll vanish from the hotel and go to nigeria without paying the hotel bills some were saying the man i mean according to the man's point he was saying there are taxi drivers who were complaining that uh, nigerian film producers will come and shoot with them use them for errands and they don't pay them and they go back restaurants were also giving the same complaint now my question is what is that supposed to be your business as a pro of a film producer association now it is up to a very responsible hotel ceo or a cashier or a front desk person to think deep that when a client comes to your hotel to book your hotel for 15 days you ask him to pay in full that is how business is run it is not about a nigerian or a foreigner those hotels that said that nigerian producers came there and left there on the 10th day on the 15 days are sick they need to be sacked because they don't know how to manage business who does this and so for that reason this film producers association decided to draw or come up with a constitution or a law that if anybody wants to shoot in ghana any Nigerian wants to shoot in Ghana, he should deposit $10,000 before they shoot in Ghana. And that's discourage the Nigerian producers from shooting. Because at the end of the day, if I have 50,000 budget to shoot in Ghana, you are forcing me to raise extra 10,000 to make it 60 thousand dollars, which probably I might not have it, but I have the run figure to shoot and produce a movie from Ghana. And when you do that, who misses out? The fact that maybe one idiot messed up doesn't mean you should put up a law or a strategy that would deceive or, 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 or that would distract or that will not encourage 
foreigners from shooting in your country have you forgotten that when they shoot in your country they are sleeping in hotels and they are paying people are getting paid because they are sleeping in their hotel hotels are making money taxi drivers are making money restaurant film crews i'm not sure they're going to bring all the film crews from nigeria extras are going to make something and this man was boldly sitting on tv that they were not paying extras or not that what kind of boob what kind of story is this i mean I, i'm a production person i do live production person Wari Pekin, being a nigerian comedian came to ghana and through a nigerian colleague they hired my services to do a live production for them in ghana last year and i was paid in full because we have gone on a contract and there was no way Wari Pekin would go to Nigeria without paying me because they hired me. We had a contract, both verbal and written. And the job was well delivered. It's on his YouTube page. You can go and check it. I produce, like, I gave logistic out for that production. So we did this and our film industry is dead and we are complaining look at how far nigeria film industry has gone now so when we sit here and we we, we create levies and people shouldn't come and shoot okay nigerians shouldn't come and shoot in our country when people from hollywood came to shoot beast of nation did you ask them to pay ten thousand dollars if you never asked hollywood or people from south africa to pay ten thousand dollars to shoot in ghana then you are a hypocrite you are a killer of a dream. You killed Ghana movie industry. And you are still certain that you have the mouth to talk, Mr. Socrates. This is wrong. And it is wrong. And I have to say it as it is. You see? And this same conversation is going around Ghana music. Hey, we should play 70% Ghana music and we should stop playing in Nigeria music. It is about the content, the quality, how the product is brought to us. If it is good, we'll consume it. That will force you to also produce good stuff. And that's exactly what we are talking about. So why do we keep always dividing the... the, the, the Habeg there is no border be on on the internet there is nothing like ghana and nigeria on the internet everybody can cross to anywhere i'm sitting in ghana i'm crossing to nigeria i am dominating in in their airwaves i am producing content for people that they like it they're enjoying it should they pass a law that a uh, parko should not even talk about? those people that came on my platform to tell me not to talk about nigeria i told them that they are sick in the head they are mad because they do not have right to tell me not to you understand some say you are looking for nigeria viewership and audience and all that so what who goes to fish to grab stone he goes to fish to bring food home once you are doing a right thing and you are doing positive things do not victimize people because you are failing do not make unnecessary regulations they asked james gardner and jackie appear that when they go to nigeria to shoot what like what kind of process did they go to and the kind of picture they painted was superb that before they get to airports nigeria film producers or the producer they are working with had made the arrangement for somebody to pick them from the airport to their hotel rooms they give them proper itinerary what they are supposed to do they are working like professionals so if we are sitting down and we want to behave like villagers we will continue sinking that is why we have a dead film industry we had the likes of spike lee a hollywood top movie producer coming to ghana and he said he doesn't even know that we have a thriving movie industry yes he's right because we are not serious the analog leaders leading ghana film industry are jokers they are refusing to grow they think we can still shoot on those, those cellular cameras and those analog cameras people are shooting with red epic red uh, helium uh, ari alexa and you are still shooting on dslr sony a7 and mark 4 
to compete them. We were doing so well in music videos. But you see the competition, our Nigerian brothers carry come the table, TJ Omori. Look at his budget. They there. They they come shoot for Ghana. You go tell us they make it can't pay what? You are not serious. Alright, people, that's enough. I, I don't really want to prolong my content like that, but there was a need for that to do it so this is the whole idea let us stop these things and allow people into our space learn from them let's work together let's let africa grow as one nation my name is dj parker rich this is the end of the conversation i won't talk more let's